For the last six years, life has been a bed of thorns for the 40-year-old Arish Chandra, a daily wager in Uttar Pradesh Basti district. Three of his four daughters died of malnutrition when 35% of children in India are underweight. Uttar Pradesh's case is even worse with around 40%, according to the latest National Family Health Survey. Arish Chandra's only hope was his wife and the last surviving daughter. Unfortunately, his wife too passed away around eight months ago. Reason? The same malnutrition. Taking note of the case, the National Human Rights Commission issued a notice to the Uttar Pradesh government. But deaths due to malnutrition is nothing new to the state. Last year, in July and August alone, nine people had died due to lack of proper nutrition in the Kushinagar district. And six of them were aged between 12 and 30. In India, adults too suffer from malnutrition, but women are the most affected. According to NFHS4 data, 23% of Indian women were underweight as of 2015. This is 20% among men. Actually, Uttar Pradesh, along with other Bimaru states, contributes the maximum to the high rate of undernourishment among women. While 30.4% of women in Bihar are undernourished, 28.4% women in Madhya Pradesh lack sufficient nutrients. And more than one-fourth of women in Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh are undernourished. The data also reveals that every second woman in India is anemic. Not much has changed in 10 years as NFHS3 data released in 2005-2 showed the same percentage. In fact, this prompted the centre to introduce the Rajiv Gandhi scheme for empowerment of adolescent girls in 2011. The scheme was aimed at improving nutrition supply to girls aged between 11 and 18 and to educate them about nutrition. In the 2014-15 union budget, 640 crore rupees was allocated for the scheme. And in 2016-17, it came down to 482 crore rupees. In the 2019-20 budget, it further got reduced to 300 crore rupees. And in the recent one, just 250 crore rupees was allocated. So the budget allocation for the scheme had apparently decreased threefold in the last six years. While deaths due to malnutrition raise serious concern, reduction in the allocation of funds for the nutrition scheme poses even bigger threat. And it is high time the government took note of this issue seriously. Mm -hmm.